we are going to be reading Zin 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 a violin. So before I begin reading this, I want to go over a couple of vocabulary words that you're going to hear as I read this story. The first one is adore. That means to love something very much. The next one is eager. Eager um, means to want to do something very much. Gleeful means happy and excited. And hesitate means to delay acting or speaking because you're unsure or you have doubt. So those are our four vocabulary words you're going to listen for as we read the story. Um, the next thing that good readers do is they listen for a vocabulary. They also listen to the details in the story. Details are very important. They tell us a lot of extra things about what's going um, on in the story. So I'm going to look at the cover of this book. You guys look with me. What do you see? Yeah, a man. And what is he playing? A violin. So I can go ahead and make a prediction about this story. I think this story is going to be about, hmm, maybe a man that likes to play the violin or some sort of um, instruments, music. Those would be some of my predictions that this book is going to talk about music and um, instruments and um what would your prediction be? Would yours be the same or would yours be something different? All right, so go ahead and make your prediction. Okay. Before I go ahead and open this book up, there's one more thing I want to talk to you about. This story is a special kind of story, and it is um, a poetry story. Poetry, a lot of times, uses rhyme, um, rhythm, beat, um, those sort of things to, to tell a story, okay? So while I'm reading this story, I want you to listen for the rhyming words. I want you to listen to um, the rhythm and the beat. Zin Zin Zin, a violin by Lloyd Moss, illustrated by Marjorie Priceman. With mournful moan and silken tone, itself alone comes one trombone. Gliding, sliding, high notes go low, one trombone is playing solo. Next a trumpet comes along and sings and stings its swinging song. It joins trombone no more alone, and one and two-o, oh, they're a duo. Fine French horn, its valves all oiled, bright and brassy, loops all coiled, golden yellow joins its fellows, two now three o, oh, what a trio. Now a mellow friend the cello, neck extended, bows a hello. End pin set up on the floor, it makes a up a quartet, that's four. And soaring high and moving in with zin zin zin, a violin, stroking strings that come alive. Now quintet, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Flute that sends our soul a shiver, flute that slender, silver, silver, a place among the set it picks to make a young sextet, that's six. With steely keys that softly click, its breezy notes so darkly slick, a sleek black woody clarinet, it's number seven, now septet. Gleeful bleeding, sobbing, pleading, th through its throbbing, double reading. Ob oboe, please don't hesitate, come make it an octet, that's eight.
That lazy clown, the big bassoon, he plays low down. We're laughing soon. Here, Grumpy, get your place in line and give us a no net. That's nine. The harp descends with angel wings and heaven splend through magic strings. And when it joins the others, then behold, a chamber group of ten. The orchestra comes in the hall. They're on the stage. We see them all. The cello, harp, and clarinet. The trumpet, whom we've also met. The oboe, flute, and big bassoon. All eager to get started soon. Trombone, French horn, and violin. All poised and ready. Now begin. The strings all soar. The reeds implore. The basses roar with notes of galore. It's music that we all adore. It's what we go to concerts for. The minutes fly, the music ends, and so goodbye to all our to our new friends. But when they've bowed and left the floor, we clap loud and shout encore. They may come back and play once more. And that would give us great delight before we say a late good night.